Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is IAS Prelims Paper 2018. Question number 1. Which one of the following foreign travelers elaborately discussed about diamonds and diamond mines of India? Option A. Francois Bernier. Option B. Jean Baptiste Avenier. Option C. Jean de Taveno. Option D. Abbe Bathelemy Carey. The correct answer is Option B. Jean Baptiste Avenier. Jean Baptiste Avenier was a French traveler who visited India between 1640 and 1667. Being a diamond merchant, he was particularly interested in diamonds and visited various diamond mines in India, especially those of the Deccan. Question number 2. The staple commodities of export by the English East India Company from Bengal in the middle of the 18th century were Option A. Raw cotton, oil seeds and opium. Option B. Sugar, salt, zinc and lead. Option C. Copper, silver, gold, spices and tea. Option D. Cotton, silk, saltpeter and opium. The correct answer is Option D. Cotton, silk, saltpeter and opium. Indigo and saltpeter were the other major imports from India, and the fact that both products were produced in the eastern Gangetic Plain, especially in Bihar, stimulated British efforts to establish factories on the east coast as well as the west coast of the Indian subcontinent. So saltpeter was indeed exported otherwise British wouldn't have made efforts to set up factories on east coast. Question number 3. Which one of the following statements does not apply to the system of subsidiary alliance introduced by Lord Wellesley? Option A. To maintain a large standing army at others' expense. Option B. To keep India safe from Napoleonic danger. Option C. To secure a fixed income for the company. Option D. To establish British paramountcy over the Indian states. The correct answer is. Option C. To secure a fixed income for the company. To maintain a large standing army at others' expense. To keep India safe from Napoleonic danger and to establish British paramountcy over the Indian states are the salient features of subsidiary alliance. Question number 4. He wrote biographies of Motsini, Garibaldi, Shivaji, and Sri Krishna, stayed in America for some time and was also elected to the Central Assembly. He was Option A. Arvind Ghosh Option B. Bipin Chandrapal Option C. Lala Lajpat Rai Option D. Moti Lala Nehru The correct answer is Option C. Lala Lajpat Rai Lala Lajpat Rai founded the Indian Home Rule League in the US in 1961. So, he's the closest match. Question number 5. Economically, one of the results of British rule in India in the 19th century was the Option A. Increase in the export of Indian handicrafts. Option B. Growth in the number of Indian-owned factories. Option C. Commercialization of Indian agriculture. Option D. Rapid increase in the urban population. The correct answer is Option C. Commercialization of Indian Agriculture Commercialization of Indian Agriculture was among the major impacts of British rule on Indian economy. Question number 6. Which among the following events happened earliest? Option A. Swami Dayanand established Arya Samaj. Option B. Deen Bandhu Mitra wrote Neil Darpan. Option C. Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay wrote Anand Math. Option D. Satyendranath Tagore became the first Indian to succeed in the Indian Civil Services Examination. The correct answer is Option B. Deen Bandhu Mitra wrote Neil Darpan. 1859, Neil Darpan was written. 1863, Satyendranath cleared Civil Services Examination. 1875, Arya Samaj was founded. 1882, Anand Math was written. Question number 7. Which one of the following is a very significant aspect of the Champaran Satyagraha? Option A. 
active all india participation of lawyers students and women in the national movement option b active involvement of salit and tribal communities of india in the national movement option c joining of peasant unrest to india's national movement option d drastic decrease in the cultivation of plantation crops and commercial crops the correct answer is option c joining of peasant unrest to india's national movement options a b and d are irrelevant to champaran satyagraha question number 8 in 1920 which of the following changed its name to swarajya sabha option a all india home rule league option b hindu mahasabha option c south indian liberal federation option d the servants of india society the correct answer is option a all india home rule league upon repeated instance from rule leaguers gandhi did accept the presidentship of the home rule league only in 1920 and changed its name to swarajya sabha while we are at it let's also gain knowledge about the wrong statements lest it's asked in the future exam question number 9 Who among the following were the founders of the Hind Mazdoor Sabha established in 1948 Option A Krishna Pillai EMS Nambudiri Pad and KC George Option B Jay Prakash Narayan Dean Dayal Upadhyay and MN Roy Option C CP Ram Swami Iyer K Kamraj and Veerashalingam Pantulu Option D Ashok Mehta TS Ramanujam and GG Mehta The correct answer is option D Ashok Mehta T S Ramanujam and G G Mehta the founding conference selected com Ashok Mehta as the general secretary and com G G Mehta and V S Mathur as secretaries Ms Mani Ben Kara and com T S Ramanujam was elected as vice presidents of H M S question number 10 the terms wanna cry Petya and eternal blue sometimes mentioned in the news recently are related to option A exoplanets option B cryptocurrency option C cyber attacks option D mini satellites the correct answer is option C cyber attacks wanna cry ransomware locks users devices and prevents them from accessing data and software until a certain ransom is paid to its creator like wanna cry petya one spreads rapidly through networks that use microsoft windows and demands 300 dollars paid in bitcoin to unlock your infected pc eternal blue is the name given to a software vulnerability in microsoft's windows operation system because of which a forementioned ransomware spread so All these terms are related to cyber security. Question number 11. In the Indian context, what is the implication of ratifying the additional protocol with the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEAs? Option A. The civilian nuclear reactors come under IAEA safeguards. Option B. The military nuclear installations come under the inspection of IAEA. Option C. The country will have the privilege to buy uranium from the nuclear suppliers group NSG. Option D. The country automatically becomes a member of the NSG. The correct answer is Option A. The civilian nuclear reactors come under IAEA safeguards. In 1993, the IAEA designed additional protocols AP to tighten the existing safeguarding regime. However, India specific additional protocols AP do not give IEA the right to hinder or interfere with activities which are outside the scope of India's safeguard agreements thus recognizing that India reserves a right to a military nuclear program outside IEA agreement question number 12 rule of law index is released by which of the following option A amnesty international option B international court of justice Option C The Office of UN Commissioner for Human Rights Option D World Justice Project The correct answer is Option D World Justice Project Topic was in news during 2018 March The World Justice Project released its Rule of Law Index 2017-18 report 
which measures the extent to which 113 countries have adhered to the rule of law in that period. Question number 13. Very recently, in which of the following countries have lakhs of people either suffered from severe famine or acute malnutrition or died due to starvation caused by war or ethnic conflicts? Option A. Anglo and Zambia. Option B. Morocco and Tunisia. Option C. Venezuela and Colombia. Option D. Yemen and South Sudan. The correct answer is. Option D. Yemen and South Sudan. In Yemen, over 20 million people need humanitarian assistance, including 7 million facing famine-like conditions. Food supplies are expected to run out within six weeks due to Saudi-led coalitions a blockade on what on Yemen. Question number 14. The term two-state solution is sometimes mentioned in the news in the context of the affairs of Option A. China. Option B. Israel. Option C. Iraq. Option D. Yemen. The correct answer is. Option B. Israel. Palestine under Israeli control to advocating the two-state solution. It wants the creation of Abba Palestine state in the Gaza Strip and West Bank, alongside the state of Israel. Question number 15. What is Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, sometimes seen in the news? Option A. An Israeli radar system. Option B. Inida's indigenous anti-missile program. Option C. An American anti-missile system. Option D. A defense collaboration between Japan and South Korea. The correct answer is. Option C. An American anti-missile system. The THAAD system is designed to intercept and destroy short and medium-range ballistic missiles during their final phase of flight. The USA installed this system in South Korea in 2017 in the wake North Korean missile test. But this angered China, who feels that deployment of American armaments will upset the regional security balance. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.